And we've heard over the last couple of days through the panels and discussions at our day a lot about the efforts that are being made to create alternative renewable energy sources. And, well, it can all be done. It can be done. I mean, we can, we've got all the technology that we need. We, we should do more research. Very little has been done with geothermal. Um, and it could be a, a tremendous uh, one-stop one -stop solution. Uh, but but we, need to, we, we need to get with the program. We need to have the same kind of mobilization effort that we had, uh, had in World War II when we stopped making automobiles for three years and started building tanks and airplanes. But uh, this time, the war is with ourselves, not with uh, some enemy overseas, because we're all we're all guilty of, uh, of, of being part of the problem. And what we got to do is, uh, is just change, change the way what we're, do what, what we're doing and change quickly mm -hmm. and fully mobilize and, uh, and we'll be fine. And, and what we'll do, if we do succeed in that, we'll, we'll, we'll do away with war too because it's crazy to go out and build a whole new energy infrastructure and, and grid uh, that's going to cost trillions of dollars to do and provide tremendous employment and good jobs and it's going to be the thing that, that turns our economy back around headed in the right direction. But uh, we're going to uh, we're going to have to do it and we're going to have to do it in a hurry. But once we're d building all these new grids and all these new power plants, it wouldn't make much sense to be bombing them at the same time. So, you know, you don't bomb new stuff, you know, it, <laughs> and you don't bomb your stuff, you bomb somebody else's stuff, you know. Well, you know, it will take, in order to create that, the world that you see and have worked so hard for, it's going to take leaders like yourself, people who see the future and fight for it. Recently, um, T. Boone Pickens, a guy who'd been a leader in the gas and oil business, has now taken up a leadership position uh, in the renewable energy business. He's doing terrific. I spent a weekend with him about a month ago. Yeah. At his ranch, too. At his ranch. Yeah. So tell us about that. Well, you know, I, I, I told him that I, I wouldn't talk about it too much, but he's got a nice, a nice ranch, and uh, we talked about all the... Um, look, went out and took a look at where he's going to build his, uh, his, his, his windmill farm, the biggest one in the world, and there's already a lot of them, a lot of them there in West Texas. That's... Uh, one of the best places in the country for, as far as wind resources are, are concerned. And, uh, you know, he wants to see us as an interim measure, use natural gas to replace gasoline in our, in our uh, mobile fleet. And uh, they're, I really, I'm with him 100% on, on wind, but he, he really, he, he looks at it as a financial security uh, play primarily because he says, and rightly so, that we cannot continue to send three quarters of a, of a trillion dollars, $750 billion overseas every year uh, without dire consequences for our economy. And, and I, I see, see that uh, problem too. I, 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 I look at it first from an environmental standpoint and secondly as a, as a financial security problem. Then it's a military security problem Third, uh, but they but they're all uh, and 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 at the end of the day, you get clean air too, and clean air is worth is wor worth a lot. Uh, we're most of us, particularly the city dwellers uh, around the world, uh, including Beijing, uh, are breathing air that's not fit not fit to breathe. Well, can you see yourself joining forces with uh, someone like T. Boone Pickens? I might. I've already I've already made a substantial uh, substantial investment in uh, in solar power, and I I I, I want to make an investment if I have anything left to invest <laughs> between my giving and the economy and the markets. So I I, I I tried to be as safe as I possibly could be. I told my investor, I said, listen, I don't want to make a fortune off what little bit I have left. I said, I just want to maintain my principle because I don't want to be broke and old. It's not, <laughs> not good. 